What's up YouTube, Oboy here. Welcome to this Christmas pickup video. Uh, today I'm just gonna talk about the different pickups I got for Christmas, self-explanatory, and uh, we're gonna talk about Christmas in general. So the first big pickup I got, as you can see, is the Marvel vs. Capcom Arcade 1-Up cabinet. Um, when it first originally came out, I was very interested in it, but then something happened. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, sorry. But then I got the Legends Ultimate, and I had Coin Ops X. And I was really excited, really obsessed with Coin Ops X. But then I started playing a lot of the games on Coin Ops X, one being Marvel vs. Capcom. And the buttons, and same thing like on Street Fighter Alpha 3, uh, Street Fighter Alpha, some of the different fighting games, they weren't mapped correctly for the Legends Ultimate. So uh, you, you it's still playable, but they're not where you want them to be now there might be an easy way to swap that i just i'm not that techie savvy with that stuff so i was able to play it but not to the point that i wanted to play it and then big blue came out and i wasn't originally going to get big blue because like it's kind of getting tight here in the game room but once i got big blue and i'm really getting into the online even though i'm getting destroyed um I start. I joined the uh, Discord, and a lot of the guys are playing Marvel vs. Capcom, and it really made me want to buy it. Even though, as much as I get beaten, Big Blue Marvel vs. Capcom is even worse. But it, it's it's a lot of fun, and I hope that I can improve my game. And I'm super excited to add it to the collection. So that was my big gift for my wife. I'm gonna go through a couple other games and stuff I got. So for my brother, he picked me up. These Coleco QuizWiz cartridges. It goes with the QuizWiz uh, Coleco handheld. Um, I do not own that system. He thought that perhaps one of them came with it, but these are actually the cartridges. But it's really cool that they're in box, and I could probably pick up the system for pretty dirt cheap. So this is pretty cool. Um, what year is it? I think it was like 78. Anything from Coleco is really neat. Uh, no, 1980. So, yeah, some Coleco handheld and uh, the Quiz Whiz. I'll have to try to pick that up. A thing for my mom was this Pac-Man light, which goes great in this game room. You probably can't see the lights very well right now, but I put it on top of my IR arcade, and I turned it on, and it actually works really cool. Another thing for my mom is this Dance Dance Revolution uh, Tiny Arc Super Imp what is it? Super Impulse or Tiny Arcade? Um, Super Impulse. I thought they were the Tiny. I think it's the same brand, but it's the Dance Dance Revolution one. And the cool thing about this is you play it with your fingers actually, which is pretty neat. Um, see if I can actually start a game now. Well, anyway, you play it with your fingers, and uh, this is really nostalgia for me because in the Wildwood Boardwalk in the early 2000s, this was this was a huge, huge popular arcade machine. A lot of the Gothic kids were playing this, um, and they were great at it. They were they were so good at it. Um, I always enjoyed watching them, admiring them, wishing I could be as good as them, but honestly. I am terrible at this game. I have like home ver versions of them, not good. So, yep, it just plays exactly like Dance Dance Revolution, but you use your fingers, which actually is better for me. So yeah, really cool to have this. Um, I'll never own the actual arcade because it's way too big, but it's really neat to have it in my collection in a sizable manner. Now this is something I was extremely excited for. This is the Atari, I think it's Super Impulse 2, the Tiny Arcade Company. It's a actual functioning Atari 2600. It's like the world's smallest one and it has 10 games. Now the games aren't exactly Atari 2600 accurate, but they are still pretty cool to play. Um, the Asteroids is closer to the arcade port Although it's not exactly the arcade port, but anyway, still really neat to have and super small. The joystick's super small, and it's actually pretty fun to play a game on it. Um, there's several reviews out of this product. Uh, go check out Glenn's Retro Show if you want a clear review of the product. 
Okay, so that, 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 that. Let's get into some games. So, first game here is Guardians of the Galaxy for the Series X. Haven't played it yet. I installed it, ready to go. I'm told that the single player campaign is really good on this game. It was on sale, and I told my wife I wanted it. And it came with this steel case. So, I don't know where she got it from, but she got it on sale, and it came with a steel case. So, that's pretty cool. Um, Battlefield 2042. My friend Walt told me to get this game. So I told my wife and she got it. And my nephew has this game on the series or on the Xbox One. So apparently it's cross-platform, so I'll be able to play it with him. Don't know much about Battlefield, I'll be honest. I never really played them. Doom 3 VR for the PSVR. Um pretty cool to play Doom 3 in VR. This is on sale for like five bucks at uh, GameStop, so I picked it up, or they picked it up. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for the Switch. This is the double pack. My house is huge in Pokemon. Uh, my kids are humongous Pokemon fans, and so am I. And we play it every every year together, all year long. We, we're big Pokemon people in this house, so super happy to get that. Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, I haven't played Call of Duty in a few years, and some of the guys on YouTube are playing it, and a couple of my really good friends are playing it, so I picked it up to be able to play with some people. Um, only played a little bit of it so far, and only the multiplayer. I didn't play the campaign. And this is the game I've been playing the most, Halo Infinite. This is taking me back to Halo 3 days. I'm having a blast on the multiplayer. Um, I haven't touched the campaign yet. This is the game that since Christmas I think I've played the most, and I'm playing the most. Working on that uh, Battle Pass, just working on the game in general. There's a holiday event right now, I'm trying to get everything for that. And it's just so much fun playing the multiplayer in this. It's just taking me back to the uh, the innocent days of Herb Wars, uh, before kids, before responsibilities. And uh, yeah, so anyways guys, that's my pick.